Look at the cat just dragged in. Just about to start my first cleanup, and I noticed this. A little piece of gold here, and it looks like a star. Gold day to you. Me and Petey here are on our way down to our favorite spot. We're going to finish up that hole that we've been working on. The last day for a little bit. We get some plans next weekend. We get the zig dig coming up. If you're coming, I can't wait to meet you. Other than that, we're going to go down and get some gold. All right, so we're down at the spot now. You guys probably recognize this area. If you've watched the last few videos, you're definitely going to recognize this area. This is right where Justin was working in my last video. And then right over here is where I've been working. I've worked this area pretty hard over the last uh, two winters. A lot of my mining at the beginning of my start was hard rock mining. We have a lot of granite back home. Granite is a great gold producing bedrock in multiple ways. Got uh, quartz veins that'll be just straight in granite. They'll be gold, gold producers. And then you have certain spots where there's contact zones. You know, we got serpentine to granite back home. We got serpentine to ironstone. We have serpentine to limestone. Now, serp I mean, uh, granite to limestone, sorry. Granite to limestone is a very well-known gold producer. And the quartz stringers that come in it are known to have some pretty good gold. Now, also granite itself. So what we have going on at this location here is we have granite that was thrust up. Then we have original andesite that was here, which uh, is a decomp right now. It's, most of it is gone. Most of these hillsides are covered in it, but it's gone. But when the thrust came up, wiped all that stuff down into the river, lots of fine gold was deposited. But right in this exact location, we have a limestone intrusion, We've got a bit of ironstone, got granite and we got andesite all in one little area and they all come together in crosses I've explained this in other videos before but I'm going to show you real quick so most of this area down here is all granite further up river especially up about a mile or so it's just straight granite there is nothing else you're not going to find anything else what I look for is this you can see the color difference right here right right here was a spot where the original bedrock andesite was sitting on top of the granite there's still some left you can see here that's just old bedrock decom now there's good gold in that right and then if you come over here right where Justin was working yesterday you have a limestone intrusion right there and right there and then we got quartz veins crossing all the way through same thing right up in here we've got another little small vein of li uh, limestone some quartz veins we've got quartz veins coming up through here a lot of these quartz veins cross too which is a good sign for gold you can see right up in here All right, so we got granite, we got a small bit of limestone coming in, we got some quartz, we got a crossing point here. That is why I'm here. And the proof's in the pudding, because there's been some good gold come out of here just by myself. And a month and a half, last winter, I had 67 grams here. From here, to that other rock over there pretty much since then I've probably accumulated another eight or nine grams here from short trips along with the probably 40 people that I've let in on this area and I know my close group of friends a few of them have pulled over an ounce just from this area since all right so I started digging in right where my shovel is right there from about where my scraper is, where PD is, you could walk straight across that yesterday. So we're down about three feet 
at that low spot right there. And then we were digging in over in here a little bit. But what I was thinking is, I've already got on the other side of my blue scoop, there's another spot over there that I had done the first day, tested, then came back with Justin and vacuumed it out. I got really good gold there. We've been kind of working in a straight line right here. You can see my wall. All those rocks have been coming out of here. So what I'm thinking is, I'm going to start hogging out all this dirt here in the middle. As you can see, I just took a bucket out right there. I just dropped it in the sluice box and I had a nice little chunky piece pop out right off the top. The bedrock's only about two feet down there because it's starting to ramp up right here. So you got a shelf coming down right here, then it goes back up. So there's a low pocket here, but I actually got better gold right there. And if you see the bedrock, there's lots of little pockets and riffles. The water's coming from this direction, so it's gonna drop stuff out right here. So then we got a little bit of a drop. So I'm thinking there's another ridge right here. That's why these rocks got caught up. So I'm gonna hog this out, and that way we've got right from there to here, pretty good. Petey's happy. Starting to get back into that kind of stuff that I was working a little bit further upriver where I had found those pieces of quartz that had the gold in them. There's so many little pieces of quartz, it's kind of hard to look at every one of them. So you got to kind of keep your eye out for something shiny that catches your eye, and then go over them like that. I'm on that kind of stuff right now. So I'm keeping my eye out. I'm a little bit further down than I was last time, but I think they're coming off this hill up here anyway. And I know there's gold coming down this little feeder creek here. There's a lot of quartz veins with that limestone intrusion running right up this thing. And we've had quite a few people, including myself, get pieces of gold down here with quartz stuck in them. And they're small. I mean, not small, small, they're pickers. But they didn't come from very far, because that quartz would have been demolished out of there by now. So they had to have come within quarter mile tops. And I know there's nothing upriver. So they're coming from right around here. So we're gonna keep our eye out. I'll bring you over to the box now. I don't think you're gonna be able to see that piece though. We'll take a look though. It's right there. Just about to start my first cleanup, and I noticed this a little piece of gold here, and it looks like a star. that's our cleanup I washed a lot down there's so much black sand but I'm gonna do a nice cleanup with a blue bowl that's not bad for a first run for three three gallon buckets so that's where we're at right now we just got the bedrock that's where those three buckets came from in that one little spot I don't have the vacuum with me today so I'm gonna just try to move as much material as I can and get whatever gold I can it is Sunday so it's gonna be an early day for me. I gotta back, get back into flat ground. So we're gonna muscle through, continue building our wall, get this hole filled out. <coughs> All right, so it's pretty much the end of the day, what I have for a day anyway. We're at about lunchtime. I got time for two more buckets. Wall's getting pretty big here. Sun's starting to pop up. Expanded the cut a little bit. Walk up there. 
Originally we had started up in there. And then we popped over there. Got really great gold. Justin came down. We worked our way. He was over there. I worked right in there and vacuumed that up. Bounced over here instead of digging this out. If you remember, there was a bunch of big rocks jammed up in here. Those are now in the wall. And I started hogging out inside there. You see now, that's where that spot was going down. It kind of levels out. And there's some really decomp granite right there. And it was holding quite a bit of gold. The only material I still have left is right in between that rock right there. But there's all that stuff down on the bedrock. Like I said, I'm going to have to leave this. So I'm sure if somebody's got a vacuum, you want to come up here and vacuum this up. It's probably going to be some good gold in there, if you know where I'm at. You'll see this big wall, you know you're there. So we got time for two more buckets. And then we're going to just dump it in a bag and we're going to take off and do our cleanup later. We're going to go off, get something to eat, get back down to town. Enjoy the rest of this Sunday. So, that's it. I'll see you back for the cleanup. Alright? Peace. Alright, well I hate to do this to you guys. But I'm going to make you wait to see the full cleanup. From this little video that we got going on here. I'm going to show you a couple little clips. We've been back there one other time for a short trip. And we busted open some more bedrock. Cleaned some more out. What I have is a big bag full of black sand. So I just recently got a blue bowl and something else that I'm going to show you a clip of in a second. And we're going to use that and then we're going to do a big cleanup with the blue bowl. Trying to work on a mobile way to do it. A mobile, mobile, mobile bowl way of doing it. But I'll show you those few clips real quick. And then I'll show you the equipment. And then on the next video, we're going to do an upload of a couple days worth of gold out of that hole. And on a side note, see that tree right there behind me? I was backed up to a tree similar to that one not far from where I am right now last night. And somebody drove by and blasted off five rounds at me. Two hit the tree right behind where I was parked. The other three went flying by pretty crazy out here it's the wild west for sure but i did come across these while i was out messing around some big chunks of cemented gravel so we're going to be doing a video on crushing and panning these soon too this is right off bedrock i particularly like this piece 